ladies and gentlemen, we are back to CK2. You might ask, why CK2 when CK3 is out? Because none of the fucking mods are out for CK3 yet, so... And I haven't played Game of Thrones mod for CK2 in, like, forever? I wanted to play as a house that is cool, but also extremely weak. So I can start from the bottom, because CK2 is extremely boring when it, uh... When you become so goddamn powerful. These guys are so insignificant for the War of Conquest, which is when we're starting off, by the way. Probably should have began with that. But uh, they're so insignificant that, I, as far as I can tell, the game just gives you random traits and random names and random characters. So, yeah. My heir is a trained fighter, knight, proud, ruffle, ruthless, diligent, not bad, inspiring commander, siege leader, skilled commander. It's not bad at all. Uh, my other son's not bad. And I've got a daughter, and I have a bastard son who's actually pretty good. Now, the first order of business is uh, marrying off my children like their cattle at a livestock auction. And I've noticed I can, for some strange reason, get Garwin Corbury, uh, along with his Valerian Steel Sword, to come join my court. Don't know why, but I can. All of the, I won't necessarily get all of these people. Some of them might ask me for money for their positions, but some of them might just come for free. In which case, they are more than welcome. Tristan Cole, yeah, sure. Let's make Tristan Cole my fucking designated regent. Nothing bad has ever fucking happened putting Tristan Cole in charge of anything. Nothing bad has ever happened from that. For those of you that are not Game of Thrones fucking nutcases, uh, Tristan Cole is known as the Kingmaker originally. Yeah, it's... Uh, he, he basically started a lot of shit. The Dance of Dragons is basically his fault. You'll learn that when the HBO show releases, and it sucks. Um, I've, I've found a couple of potential buyers. <laughs> potential buyers. Basically potential buyers. So he can marry the Connington, and then this guy can marry... Like, there's some high tower options and stuff. But, like, I could get Yornwood to join me, and Yornwood's, like, right on the border. And it also means that Yornwood can't attack me, so... Eh. I mean, it's kind of our character, our law-wise, for uh, martial lords to be marrying the Dornish at this time. We'd basically hate their guts, but, uh, fuck it kind of vibe. The only question remains who to marry my heir to, specifically. Is I'm thinking the Swan Girl? It does also mean that, yeah, fuck it, we'll do this. We'll do this. <clears throat> my bastard can marry them, which gets me a non-aggression pact with my neighbors. And also potentially gives me an alliance. My ultimate goal here is expanding and becoming, like, taking these regions, essentially. Which is why I will send my Justicar to Poddingfield to hopefully try to claim that shit. The moment of truth. We basically see... Time to see who the hell accepts my marriage like, agreements and who the hell refuses to come to my court. Also, where the hell Aegon's going? Ah, he's going to go for Westeros. That answers that question. Yep. Mooton has agreed to come to my court with no conditions. Uh, the Darklands have done the thing. I feel like they send me a dowry. Uh, the Swan Girl has married my heir, which is nice. That's one of the main things I wanted to do. Uh, the Yornwood Girl has just done that. Very nice. Flint has accepted my invitation with no strings attached. Just married the Collington girl. Yeah, I definitely ask him for a dowry. Definitely ask him for a dowry. I need money. <laughs> I need money. There you go. My daughter marries the future heir to Eastermont? Yeah, yeah, Eastermont. That's right. They're the turtle people over there. Nope. He's refused to join my court. He's refused to join my court. Aha! Corbury has accepted my invitation. Excellent. Uh, he's been stingy. That's primarily because he doesn't really have any money. So he's not necessarily being greedy. But I'll take the 25 gold. That's that's fine. My master at arms will definitely be Corbury. It will piss off my air slightly. But that's no problem. Yeah, because uh, Corbury can actually train any future kids and grandkids. And then they might get formidable fighter. So having Corbury is great. It's fucking brilliant. Doesn't make any sense with the law, but it's fucking brilliant. What did I get the chick for? Her 16 stewardship, but I don't think she can be a treasurer, I guess. Can she be a castellan? No. Because she's a woman, she's incapable of doing anything except making sandwiches. Just like real life. <laughs> 
Uh, please don't lynch me. Technically speaking, the king is my cousin, by the way. That's uh, that's a thing. He His mother was my aunt. So, technically speaking, he's my cousin. Aegon is kicking ass, by the looks of it. He'll probably come for us next. Um, there's nothing I can really do about Aegon unless someone happens to, like... I have actually... Like, occasionally I play this game and I just fuck around. We'll put it on, like, times two while I'm ranting. But um, occasionally I play this game just to fuck around. I don't record it. I just like, screw around. But uh, I have actually seen a playthrough where I was like, okay, I'm just going to be like a Targaryen loyalist, and then Aegon ends up getting every single one of his dragons killed. I'm not joking. I have played this where all three of the invading dragons were killed. And Aegon just ends up with, like, Westeros here, and then that's all they have. Just a bit of the Blackwater. I'm married to your... My, my heir is married to your daughter, and you still won't fucking make an alliance with me, you dick. See, some... Uh, I, I could bribe them. Eh, I can't, I can't hand you, actually, is, um... Sway. I can try to sway his opinion of me. Making a friend might trigger the game to do some stuff. Potentially. What happened? My mother died. Oh, my fuck. I had a mini heart attack there for a second. Like, something important happened. <laughs> my mother dying is not important. What the fuck is Aegon doing? Where's Aegon sending his ships? Oh, he's just sailing them all the way around to the Iron Isles, I wager. Okay. Fair enough. It'd be interesting to see who the AI puts in charge of things. Oh god, I'm feeling queasy. Oh god. That nah, we're fine. Don't worry. It's fine. I mean, we don't look fine. We look like death. We look like how I felt when I had COVID. Uh, oh god. I've got food poisoning. Brilliant. We can finally talk in private. Be quick about it, because I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> like, uh... As long as you know what you're doing, buddy. Don't fail me. Please don't fail me. Uh, told you to undress and kneel with your buttocks raised. This wasn't awkward enough, but when you saw the instrument in his hands, you almost bolted. Osmond must have noticed because you, he patted you calmly on the shoulder and told you to stop clenching. <laughs> well, I feel better, so sticking something up my ass worked. Uh, my daughter is preggers. I actually feel better. I'm not going to die. It was the anal rape that did it. I mean, what? Woohoo! I can claim Pottingfield. It's great. It's absolutely great. They have no alliances, so they're fucking screwed. Um, there you go. You can now go claim Harvest Hall, because reasons. That was a lot quicker than I expected. I, could, I might actually be able to claim Poddingfield before Aegon even shows up with his giant armies to kill me. Honestly, my ally might just be able to deal with it. If he accepts my invite, then uh, I can just kind of let him do the fighting. Yeah, I'm just going to let him do the fighting. He'll be fine. I'll send my son and fucking thing with like 150 men. <laughs> just about like 150 men, I'll send them to come help. Because uh, they might... No, no, nah, nah, they're not going to need it. They're not going to need it. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. There you go. Imprisoning all of them sounds a bit harsh, but at the same time I could kill them all. And then they wouldn't be a threat to me. Yeah, I could literally wipe out the Peasbury fucking mail line. Is there any negatives to doing this? I don't think so, other than maybe the... Maybe we'll just hang them all. So the first thing you need to know about me, ladies and gentlemen, is that I am a bastard when it comes to this game. Uh, wiping out family lines is my thing. I'm hanging a child of no years old. There you go. I have just successfully wiped out the mail line of... Uh, the male line of House Peasbury. They will, in a couple of, like, in like one generation, they'll just be completely dead. I'm probably gonna hang his wife, just in case she's preggers. Uh, and then we'll end the war there. I will immediately declare war on Harvest Hall. And once again, call these guys into the war. And they can basically just, uh, they can basically just win the war for me. Uh, which trait is highest? Military, yeah. Let's talk strategy. Uh, why does fucking Harvest Hall have, like, a considerably large force of shit? We'll, uh, we will actually have to, like, rally stuff. I'll tell the AI to group up with them, and I'm gonna actually send these guys over here. Why am I in charge of this? He's a better fighter than I am. 
I'll handle this. Yeah, he ran. These guys will go up to Blackheart, join up with them, and then we'll beat the crap out of uh, Harvestful. I'll try to get the Selmies back. I'd kind of like Selmy to be my vassal later on or some shit. And we should beat the shit out of them. Yeah, our, our commanders are just so much better. Not to mention Corbury leaving it. Aegon invades. <laughs> Probably wrap this war up real quick. Ah, my brother had a kid with a Dornish girl. Okay. I didn't expect that to actually even bother happening. We'll uh, we'll wrap this war up because we're currently going to war with the Targaryens. I now have Poddingfield. Woo! And I can create the High Lordship of it, I think. It costs me no gold. I can definitely create the High Lordship of it. There you go. That was, the e I that was way easier than I expected. Way easier than I expected. Don't really know if I do want to go fight the Targaryens. I might claim Night Song though, while um, before the King's Peace is introduced and the laws start to change and stuff, I'll just grab Night Song real quick. Yes, quickly come help me deal with these people. <laughs> I know we're under attack by the Targaryen invaders, but uh, we're going to lose that battle anyway. Unless the king miraculously like kills Aegon or something, which may happen, but I doubt. Wait for that last army to arrive and get fucking Clarence and his men to come join that. Wait for his men to join me, and then we'll march south. Oop, shit. What happened? Who did he put in charge? What? Are you kidding me? Who the fuck did he put in charge? Oh, that's just brutal. He was killed by Rennie's Targaryen's dragon. They sold him. Why is she called Redback? I don't even want to know. That's fucking brutal. Aegon Targaryen has seen fit to name Michael Muscud. Who is from some no Danksgrave? Well, I know what I'm doing now. We're taking the Stormlands. I'm not having this. I'm no way am I following a guy from a house called Muscud. Muscud? Fuck off. We are nope. Nope. That's my fucking mission in life now. We are. We are taking the Stormlands. No way in hell. He kills my cousin and then puts this twat in charge. <laughs> fuck no. Absolutely fuck no. This, they didn't even- they just married her off to a random gardener? Wait, or did she flee? Fucking- she must have run away to the Reach. Because Aegon doesn't control the Reach, so there's no way that marriage was his idea. Okay, so... The king died in battle against Rainy's dragon. And then his daughter, rather than hold Storm's End, ran away to the Reach and married some gardener asshole. So... Oris wasn't put in charge because Oris had no claim because he had no wife to marry. So he couldn't, like, adopt the house colours or the name or anything. So Aegon just put some random fucking idiot in charge of the Stormlands. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. We, uh, we definitely know what we're doing, which is mm, taking the Stormlands. We are not fucking putting up with this. I'll wait for that 200 men to show up, and then we'll go down here and kick the shit out of these guys. Hopefully. Minimal feudal taxes. Okay, this dude knows, knows, he fucking knows that everyone is looking at him in the Stormlands right now and go, why are we following this blonde twat? <laughs> so he's getting rid of all the laws. He's basically pulling a Boris Johnson. We've caught him breaking COVID regulations, and now he's just giving us a bunch of laws to try and make us happy. <laughs> Minimal feudal tax, yeah, sure. Honestly, hunting down his army and dealing with them is going to be more effective than uh, laying siege. Because laying siege is going to take a while, and I'm about to start losing that money. Good lord, he's running really far, isn't he? Uh oh. Well, I died to some random dude. Oh, well. Uh, my son can inherit. Surely not. No, 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 no. Oh, shit, he's my rival. Why is Corbin my rival? That's just not good in any way, any way at all. Oh, well. Castellan can be used. Spymaster is Boggs. Treasurer can be John, apparently? What happened to my other treasurer? I thought I had a better treasurer than John. Ah, oh, John's my friend as well, Moosin is. Which is nice. So I made friends with Mooton, but I didn't make friends with the uh, fucking Corbury. Oh wait, I can... That's actually pretty nice. 
I could ransom these dudes to them to get some cash. Yeah, they pay the ransom for the kids. So we can end the war here. He is subjugated. Keeping his wife in prison. Even they don't like me. I think it's because of the cruel. That nah, we're both cruel. <laughs> it's the lack of funds they're not happy about. But that won't be a problem. Because uh, I am no longer have a lack of funds. I need a maester. Which for some reason I have to pay 20 gold for. That sounds like the Citadel though to be honest. Assholes. Getting better to have a son. I do not like this dude. My opinion of him is absolutely terrible. I am not fucking having that guy rule for like our our official vibe here is uh fuck this dude i wonder if potting oh, no, i killed all the potting fields didn't i <laughs> never mind i was about to say i wonder if the potting fields would come back nope nope definitely not no no they are not coming back i kind of want the selmies back that's the thing i definitely i definitely feel like giving mutin some territory the issue with that is that um i don't want the fucking like, if he was to die and his son was to die or something, then I don't want that territory falling out of my hands, is the only thing. But I guess we can worry about that later, right? The Mutons of Poddingfield. Doesn't exactly sound a brilliant name, but we'll, uh, it'll do. See, that's my thing. If he dies now, fucking this dude inherits and it goes to Moot. So I just have to really hope that, uh... Shut up, kid. Yeah, I know. I guess I could give you fucking thingamajig. That kind of works, right? Is, is, that, is anyone going to actually marry your ass now? Nobody wants to marry you, kid. Like, absolutely fucking nobody wants to marry you. Because for some reason, it, like, consistently says that... No, no matter who the hell I try to marry him to, it says unlikely to have kids. I'm assuming he's, like, barren or, like, almost barren or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I, I guess I could give my brother the haystack, the, the harvest hall. And then I just have the Mutons, and then at least another branch of House Dondarrion holds Harvest Hall. Then Night Song is left in charge of them. Fuck it. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. I will give my brother Harvest Hall, and he can shut up. He'll marry whoever the hell the game gives him, I guess. Yeah, the ruthless and the cruel thing is really not great for fucking vassal, um, vassal shit. But this kid is my hostage. I mean, world. None of the dragons are dead. No. Nah. Oh, they're just... Laying siege to Dragonstone and all that crap. I am not going to go help them. <laughs> Under no circumstances am I helping those people. Ronald bent the knee by the looks of it, right first. The North is usually last to fall. The Hoars are still in charge of the Iron Isles. The only thing left is the Reach, the West, and everything else. Which I am not helping them with. Uh, I don't really want to piss him off, but I don't plan on doing anything about it right. I don't I don't have the strength or anything to do anything about the Stormlord at the moment. Now rides Vagar into battle. Why? Did Visenya die? How? What? When? No. Yep. Someone assassinated uh, Visenya, the Bane of Deep Den, was assassinated. Died under suspicious circumstances. This is what I mean! This is what I mean. I've had this happen before, where the Targaryen line is essentially extinguished before they can actually do anything. Ugh. Because half the time the game just makes them hide. Like, Aegon is hiding right now. He's not doing anything, he's just hiding. Good lord. We're, we're winning over here, but we uh, the Stormlands forces are getting their asses collectively handed to them. A brother in arms. Hey, I made friends with Lord Simon. That's good. Excellent news. That is excellent news. I need gold. There's a plague spreading, by the way. I kind of don't have a kid right now, and my wife is getting on in the years. That my wife will be angry with me. She's already pretty fucking angry with me. I should adopt the child into my household. We'll be known as Waters. I'm pretty sure adopt him into my household means that it will be a bastard kid. I might actually do it, just because then I'll have a backup. If for some reason I can't get a fucking son or something, I will actually have a backup. I brought home the my bastard son from the war, essentially, is that what's happened. Uh, good lord, this guy is really sucking up to his bannermen. Like, please don't kill me. <laughs> please don't kill me. I've lowered the laws. All of the fucking laws have been lowered. Everything has been lowered. Here, have some gold. He's really trying to curry favor with everyone. Ooh, his heir is a craven fat dude. What, what the fuck happened to the... Did we declare white peace or something? 
Targaryens are not doing as well as they did in Cannes. <laughs> I had to like, skip past like these loyalist voters. Yeah, Aegon the Aegon did a white piece. We were winning. Okay. The combined forces of the Reach and the Westerlands have actually managed to push back the Targaryen adv advance. That's that's something that's happened. That is legitimately a thing that's happened. The fuck. Yeah, my wife is getting on in the years, and we've just like, yeah, she's not happy. Acknowledged bastard. Well, maybe if you popped out some kids, this wouldn't be a problem. Your brother and me get along fine, sweetie. It's all you. You're the fucking problem in this relationship. Yeah, if it, come, if it worst comes to worst, I, like, basically ask to legitimize Damon. Um, or my wife mysteriously dies. Air quotes. But I'm 30 now, and still have not popped out a child. So, yes. Um... Good lord, do I raise troops to fight the Astonish army here? Yeah, I don't think the Dornos are turning around. They're scared. It's Prince Oberon. He's scared of me. The the Viper is scared. That's fucking stupid as shit, though. The 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 Reach and the Rock have managed to somehow repel Aegon Targaryen. That's a thing that's happened. Who's riding Vagar now? Actually, I didn't even take. I didn't even like. Look. Who is riding Vagar now? It was some old dude. Ah, Zelda guy is riding. Okay. I kind of don't want to get involved. <laughs> well, I kind of just don't want to get involved in any of this crap that's going on. Holy crap, what the hell? You fucking assholes. Oh, he's attacking for Aegon's claim on the Stormlands. Hey, my wife's pregnant. That took long enough. Who the fuck is Aegon? Uh, the ugly one. The ugly one who's the son of... No, I don't want that at all. Yeah, no, I don't really want the Boilings being in charge of it. It's a really crappy name. Gets Trey Brave. We are getting our asses kicked over there. I have so many rivals. It's, uh, it's a thing. I think we won that, actually. Yeah, we did. I think we did. My sister's husband died in battle. Probably that battle that we had over there, actually, against Cape Ruff. And she's married the heir to... Heart's home now? Sure, I'll travel to the wedding, I guess. I'm fighting my nephew, by the way, in this little war. That's his father's war, though. Like, He's the only one in the Stormlands. Why would you do this? I guess because the Stormlands force is, like, beating the shit out of. How's Dawn doing? Yeah. It's kind of weak. Like, see, Aegon's just hiding. All the time. That's the thing I don't, uh, like, I've noticed, which usually fucks over the Targaryens when the AI is controlling them, is the fact that they half assed and don't utilize their, uh, dragons very much. Also, Aegon has become a drunken depressed. <laughs> Everyone is claiming my land as well. That's, uh, not, not wholesome. It's definitely not wholesome, dude. I will groom him for command because he basically is going to inherit at this point. <laughs> uh, my bastard is gonna just be the probably the best candidate for my heir uh, at this stage. Like, where the fuck are the Targaryens? They're just hiding in their fucking holes and not really doing much in the way of anything. Rhaenys is in Dawn. That, that's that's going to go badly if law is anything to go by. Although I don't think law is anything to go by because this is the least law-friendly turnout that I've ever seen. Why does the Reach control two islands in the Iron Isles? Like, directly controls two islands in the Iron Isles. How the fucking shit? They conquered it. What? 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 My, my wife is pregnant. Though. What? The Reach is just conquering the Iron Isles. What the fuck is going on? This is the darkest timeline. What the fuck is this shit? Alright, well, Dawn has bent the knee. And been defeated. And it will be inherited by the Gardeners. Because, of course, it will. What the fuck? Why did the Greyjoys control Highgarden? Why did the Greyjoys control the Reach? What the fucking shit? What's going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I, 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 I... He was beheaded. And now he's just the Lord Protector of the Reach. Ha... Why? Where? Why? Where? <laughs> oh, he's given one of his sons Highgarden and is now ruling 
Yeah, the, the reach is now just high garden. Why? Why is this a thing? What the hell is going on? I need a, I need something to eat or something. I'm, I'm, I'll be back. This is this is too much. Why are there Danes there? What the fuck? What are the Danes doing? Oh, they're they're attacking. Okay, so Dawn hasn't joined the war against the Reach. I mean, I say the Reach. It's the Iron Isles, apparently. <laughs> How the fuck? What happened to the Hoars? They were in charge at one point. Yeah, the Hoars were in charge. But then Mern Gardner was in charge. And then the Greyjoys were in charge. How the fuck? I'm just going to form alliance with my friend because, yeah. I don't plan on expanding that way, but if I could take this land and then start pushing up here and take the like the left-hand side of the Stormlands and get allies with everybody else, and then I can basically stake a claim on these idiots and take this crap. That's what my, uh, what my plan was. I like I like how like uh, Aegon's declared war on the Reach, and because it's controlled by the Greyjoys, like you've got the Osgreys have joined him, the Rowans have declared neutrality, the fucking Ambrose have declared neutrality, the Florence have joined Aegon already. I'm surprised more people haven't joined. Uh, no, no, speak of the Devil, the Oakharks have joined Aegon. All of the Reach, like oh, I say, all of it, like some bits of it have. Uh, ultimately decided, yeah, we're not fucking following the... <laughs> and Aegon is still in hiding after all this time. He's a drunkard and an idiot, but he's still in hiding. He's legitimized Oris Baratheon, who is now Targaryen. That's how desperate they've gone. Uh, Oris is now a actual Targaryen, and he's legitimized him. Interesting. <clears throat> very, very interesting. Vagar is now being ridden by... this dude? Who is a Stormlander? What the fuck is going on in this timeline? Why? The fuck? How? When? Why? What's going on? Is my mod broken or something? <laughs> I'm so confused by all of this. This is like mind-bogglingly fucking stupid as shit. Sir John for the Stormlands? Boiling is trying to put Boiling in charge. Boiling? Is it boiling? I've been saying boiling this like entire time for like fucking five years. Boiling. It's such a shit. It's such a shit house name and such a shit fucking sigil. I'm just like, meh. Clearly this child has potential. I'm Lord Harmon the Black of the Dornish Marches, by the way. Interesting. And my liege fucking hates me cuts. Ray boiling, actually. Potentially. That would actually work. That might work. Like, because oh, I could technically pull the angle of, uh, these guys are the blood of the Storm Kings. Like, through the male line, they're just the Cadet Branch, essentially. So, they're basically, yeah, they're, they're basically legitimately, like, got a legitimate fucking claim to the, to the shit. Because they are Durandons. They're just the Cadet Primes. It's kind of like Carstucks and Starks. Same thing. But um, I could pretty much support them if I married, say, his daughter. And if he became the Lord Paramount. Fuck it. I say we do that. She's a bit old, but hopefully she's more suited to everything than, uh, than them is. So yeah, I marry her. Uh, I will ask him for a dowry. How much money does he have? I don't really care. I just want a dowry. Customer diary. The 10 gold. Okay. Fuck it. I'll take it. Yeah, I don't think any of his banners actually like the dude. Yeah, none of them like him. They're all just like, why are we in charge of this dude? He's got one banner man. This dude. This is the one dude that likes him. Hopefully my wife gets uh, pregnant. That'd be nice. I do need heirs. It's it's getting a little bit... A little bit concerning. More and more of the Reach is rebelling against the Greyjoys. The fucking Vale of Aaron is down here taking shit. Small feudal taxes. He is desperately trying to win the favor of the lords. Desperately trying to win the favor of the lords. Eh, I will not concern myself enough. I'm not going to go help the uh, fucking Targaryens. I don't give a shit about the Targaryens. We are not, uh... 
we are not friends with them. So Aegon conquered the Reach, and then he gave the Reach to the Merryweathers. What is it with Aegon and giving the Paramount seeds to like people that have like little to no significance? Yeah, sure. I will give you some coin, buddy. Go do that. Oh no, uh, she's pregnant, but I'm not sure if it's mine. That's that's mildly concerning. Hire hire someone to find out. I really please please don't ruin this for me. Please just be my kid. The fuck. That's a relief. Hire more spies. I will hire more spies purely to fucking absolutely be absolutely certain. More people are claiming my stuff. You. Oh, you fucking twat! No! Fuck! It's that asshole I gave money to a minute ago and he's run away with my fucking coin! Ah! No! Fucking bastard! Ah, oh, that... Fucking asshole! He had the nerve to bugger my wife and then ask for money for fighting for a claimant, and then he fucks off to dawn to hide. I, I I hope it's a daughter. If it's a boy and the game thinks that I'm gonna allow that kid to be my heir, then I'm legitimizing Damon out of spite. Ah, oh, that's just such a dick move, dude. That is such a dick move. Absolute dick move. I invite him into my fucking house, and this is how he pays for me. Like, this is how he repays me. It's a fucking boy! And it's not mine! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, game? No! Oh, that's so fucking shit. It's not mine. It's not mine. It's not mine. It's not mine. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to kill it. I'm gonna have to fucking kill him. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click on that stupid little notification bell thing that doesn't really need to be there, but YouTube insists upon. In order to keep up to date with my videos, as if subscribing didn't already mean that you wanted that. What? I'm not salty. I love you, Google. Please don't demonetize me. For the love of God, send me money. YouTube are going to demonetize me and I haven't eaten in a week.